there was ever an argument to support UK manufacturing and how you can be competitive in modern times, then it's here at Trust Precision Engineering in Nottinghamshire. I've come to meet with Nick Street. He set up this company just over two years ago and he's made a real success of it. I've now stepped inside and I'm here with Nick Street. Good afternoon, Nick. Hiya. So, this is a real success story. Tell me, how do you go from nothing to turning over over half a million pounds in less than two years? Work extremely hard, don't go home ever. Um, just sacrifice everything you've got in the world and just keep going till it comes good. And so before Trust Precision, did you, you work for another engineering company? Yep, I ran a, a two site operation, one in the UK and one in Czech Republic. Uh, oversaw the running of turning and mill, milled components uh, before I left there and started this business. And what made you want to start your own company? Uh, I just wanted to have job security, um, uh, be the master of my own destiny and um, end up with a team of guys um, all working as one uh, where people feel appreciated and not abused in any way um, where everybody can earn good money and have a good solid future because when you start an engineering company it's not like starting a lot of businesses you actually need machine tools you need tooling and that can be a lot of investment so did you get a lot of support from from suppliers well uh, I mean th there's been some really um, good help along the way. Uh, Citizen um, helped me initially, obviously, get in the machines. Um, and then material suppliers, Smith Metals, from day one gave me an account. Um, Matrix Tooling, felt no end, and WNT. They've all been there, they've all helped uh, a great deal. And I suppose to themselves, they're, they're reaping the rewards now as the business is, has grown a lot, you're very successful, you're a 24-7 you're operation, so yeah. you have a night shift here. And I also have read that you've got two apprentices, so you've recently taken on two apprentices as well. Yeah, yeah, um, doing really well. Um, we've got Luke at the moment and uh, my son, he's working as well, although he's not here today. Um, and within six months, Luke's setting the machines, you know, really, really good. Um, he's just starting a course on uh, CAD CAM, uh, which will be our next step. Um, yeah. And then, and then with your customers, you managed to keep them and obviously with the growth of the business, you've obviously got lots of new customers over the last two years as well. Yeah, what a, keeps them coming back? Uh, probably just a, the personal touch. I'm very honest. I don't make false promises. Um, I will move heaven and earth to, to do what I say I'm going to do. Uh, the quality is obviously very good. And you mentioned to me, Nick, that when you first started the business, you actually spent three months living here or close to living here. Yeah, I had, um, well, between August and uh, January, I think I had three or four nights in my own bed. Uh, all the rest of the time I was here, two hours sleep, setting me alarm up, checking the machines, uh, just... And just how did that go down with uh, the family? Uh, not very good, um, to the point that my, my youngest son, who's uh, six now, um, thought that this is where I lived, and I only visited home. So. <laughs> So Steve, you've recently joined the business and it looks like exciting times here at Trust. Yeah, six months ago or so, I uh, started working with Nick. I knew him a little bit before. The project, Trust Engineering, uh, believe in it massively. I've never known anyone with a work ethic, uh, no compromise on equipment, systems, and his attitude towards customers, fantastic. Yeah, his desire is something else, isn't it? He's, he's very hungry to make a big success of the company. Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. I mean, the times of day that I'm receiving emails and getting text messages uh, is probably a, personally a big mistake to get involved. But no, seriously, um, great company, great team, small family team, and the whole team attitude of the people that are in here it's it's uh so he's very recently special. got the as 9100 as well yeah big step forward uh, always a part of the plan for what uh, nick wants to do with trust i mean a lot of the component that we're manufacturing currently is the the kind of the very complex aerospace connectors um, we're looking to get into the wider aerospace business uh, we've joined 
Midlands Aerospace Alliance and the BTMA also recently to show that trust means business and, and we're here and we're aiming to get involved in the, the blue chip kind of business. And you're also at the Subcon show? Another big step, yeah. Uh, this year we'll be at the Subcon show, we hopefully bring in a selection of the components that we do and letting people know about trust. The business is doing extremely well. What do you see in the next couple of years? Um, probably uh, a, a slightly bigger machine, you know, Nakamura's maybe, uh, two and a half inch capacity. Uh, a lot of my customers now, they, they're really happy with what I'm doing for them, but they say, when are you going to get something bigger? You know, you can't, we've got all this other work you could have, uh, so I'm being pushed down that line. And then, and then investing in machine tools is obviously critical at the start, but I know as your business has evolved, you've also looked at ways of sort of improving tool life, and you mentioned to me earlier about some products that are supplied to you by Lubriserve. Yeah. Yeah. How has that helped? Well, we use the uh, XS9 now, the fully synthetic oil. It's um, on a lot of the jobs that I do on some of the aerospace connectors, the cycle time completely start to end can be, you know, 15 minutes a piece. So the last thing that you want to be doing is changing tooling. Um, so we've seen um, tool life go from between two and 300 parts to between, I don't know, five, five, six, seven, eight hundred parts. You know. Purely just because of the use of that product? Yeah, yeah. The inserts, you can see they're completely different when you take them out. They used to be black and burnt. And now even, we now push the tools harder, but the inserts still come out the same color as they went in. So that gives you the edge over a lot of your competition? Well, it just frees up that little bit of extra time that I need to do other things, get in the office and do quoting, which you know you can't do if you're stood at the side of the machine constantly. And did you find that product by exploring the marketplace or were you looking for something specifically to improve your tool life? Um, I can't say as I was looking for something specifically, I was living with what I'd got and Richard um, from Lubriserve came in and tried to push this new oil to me, but because of the cost, I was a little bit dubious and uh, when we ordered the second machine, I said to him, well, what I'll do is I'll put it in that machine and I'll run it side by side on the same jobs and we'll see how we go. And, uh, and you didn't look back, you obviously invested in it and it's yeah. done the job. Yeah, within, within, um, within a month I'd taken, it out of, I'd taken all my oil out of that machine, which is about 400 litres that old, and filled that one up with it as well. So. I think it's fantastic. I think where you've come from and where, you, where you've got to is, is, a, is a real success story, Nick. Now, thank you for your time today and uh, I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you.